Christmas is all around us. And so the feeling grows. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you some holiday cocktail recipes that will guarantee your guests will be tipsy and asking for the recipe. Or if it's just for you, Cheers. All right, first up, we are gonna start with the drink that I just downed, the Mary Martini. All the vodka lovers, martini lovers out there. Woo, yeah, I'm feeling it now. This one is for you. What you'll need is vodka, St. Germain, which is an elderberry liqueur. Yes, cranberry juice, lime juice, and garnish. I've got some sugar and then some cranberries that I just stuck in the freezer. For a glass, you can obviously use a martini glass. We didn't have any, so just use a short little wine glass, or you can use one of these little stout little shelves. Take your shaker. That's so crazy, mine already has ice in it. We'll start with a shot of cranberry. Now back in my serving and bartender days, which I say that very lightly because I uh, wasn't really, see, a good, bartender, I just would hop behind the bar if I ever wanted to make myself a drink, you know? You start with your non-liquor in your shaker because if you make a mistake, then you can pour this out and you're not wasting your alcohol first. Then we're gonna get our shot of vodka, shot of St. Germain. Maybe I should put the little nipples on them. We'll go in with a half shot of Either fresh lime juice, I don't have any fresh ones, so squirt her in there. And then since I used the real cranberry juice, like not the sugary kind, not the from concentrate kind, I'm just gonna cut it with some water. So I'll go in with a half a shot of water. I had never tasted real cranberry juice until I bought this kind. And I was like, ooh, this is disgusting. But I guess it's just because it's real stuff. Just want to look like sexy man from Queer Eye. Anthony, oh, handsome man. So as far as garnishing goes, again, like I said, I don't have any limes. So what I'm going to do is just put lime juice on a paper towel and then go around the rim. Ratchet, but effective. Getting it all around the rim because then we'll come in with our sugar garnish. If you have the limes, you can do a little bit of um, lime degrading. That's not, I don't know, lime grade, lime shavings. Lime zest, and it'll be cute, like a little white and green turn up on the side. Top with our cranberries. I put these in the freezer so it will keep your drink cold and not water it down. Bye. The sneaky thing with St. Germain is that it masks the taste of alcohol while being alcohol itself. You don't really taste the vodka, it just tastes like kind of like a florally cranberry drink. And it's delicious. The Mary Martini. I'm racing against the sunlight because I've tried to make this video three nights in a row, but it kept getting dark, so I kept getting drunk for no reason. Except you don't need a reason when the reason is the season. Next up, we have a boozy gingerbread milkshake. Get your nipples ready, ladies. Man, if I wouldn't love my nipple shot out, gingerbread cream liqueur. For this recipe, you're gonna need some ginger snaps or gingerbread men, vodka, gingerbread liqueur. I found this at Trader Joe's. Or you could use heavy whipping cream with ginger seasoning. So like real live ginger, not people, but the seasoning. First, you'll want to start with your gingerbread men. I'll use about six of them. We'll put them in a blender or a food processor. This we'll be using to rim the glass in you'll have actual gingerbread in your mold. So I'll put a little bit off to the side for the rim, then we'll start adding our ingredients. We'll go in with about a cup and a half of ice cream. If you want to use, I mean, honestly, you shouldn't be worried about like calories or anything. It's the holiday season, calories don't count right now. But if you are, you can use Halo Top ice cream. It's probably a little bit better for you than regular, but who gives a shit, really? Then we'll go in with a shot of gingerbread liqueur. 
which even though I want to use this, I'm not good at this. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, his nipples are getting wild. And then a shot of vodka. One, two, three. I don't know why I'm counting. I'm still measuring. Then we'll put her in the blender. consistency but she's good what you'll want to do is get your chocolate syrup and then delicately we're gonna go around the mug oh yes just like this we're going to use honey and go around the rim with it that way it picks up our ginger bread man guts if you're making this for other people, maybe like use gloves or something that's like a little bit more sanitary than like fingering everybody's rim. Then we'll take that, go around with our gingerbread crumbs. Then we'll go in and pour our drink. Top her with some whipped cream. Put one right on top. Is that morbid that he's just like chilling with his friend's guts around him? Voila, we have our boozy gingerbread men milkshake. All right, y'all, next up we have the milk one. Okay, let me just look up to see how it, you pronounce it so I can stop acting like I have a fake accent because I don't know how to pronounce it. Mold. Mold. Jordan, it's mold. So we'll start with bottle of wine, an orange, some cinnamon sticks, or just cinnamon spices, brandy. If you have it, you can add that in it as well. But basically we will be making a warm cocktail here, but you don't want to overcook the wine and cook out all the alcohol because I'm like, what's the point? Take your bottle of wine, put it in a pot. Two shots vodka. Oh, 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 oh. Then come in with our orange. We'll do some orange slices. Go in with our cinnamon sticks. Two, because we want to save some for garnishing. Put some little cinnamon in there. We are using some honey to sweeten it. Also for extra liqueur, you can use brandy bourbon or cognac. Or you can skip if you prefer. Slash don't have. Okay, follow me. So we are going to put this over medium high heat. Wait for it to simmer or boil. Let's go check that. Okay, now we're gonna strain her. There we go. Beautiful. Cinnamon sticks as a little garnish in here. Take some of our orange slices. And we have our mold wine. Oh wow, that's really good too. Ain't she good, boy? All right, y'all, last but not least, I am whipping up a peppermint espresso martini. Mm -hmm. We'll start with blending up our garnish, which will be peppermint. So the ingredients that I have for the peppermint espresso martini, we've got peppermint schnapps, a can of cold brew coffee, this is gonna be our espresso, we don't have an espresso machine, so just pretend it's espresso. Kahlua, which is rum and coffee liqueur, and cocoa peppermint flavored almond creamer from Trader Joe's. We'll start with a half shot of the cocoa peppermint almond creamer. We'll go in with our coffee, go full shot there. Half a shot of Kahlua, half shot of peppermint schnapps. Shake her up. For our rim garnish, we'll go in with our honey. You're making all the jokes that I already did. Less advanced minds regurgitate the same jokes. Boom, roasted. Okay, wow. This might be my favorite. Jordan, come try this. Am I a freaking chef or what? Oh, 
I like that one better though. Yeah, the gingerbread milkshake is the best for sure. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you look like the neighbor yeah. from uh, Home Improvement <laughs> that you could ever see. All right, y'all, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and press subscribe <laughs> to stay in the know with all videos. Hope wow, you like the, the recipes. And yeah, comment below. Tell me which one is your favorite. Share it with a friend if you want, you know, them to make it for you if you don't want to make it for yourself. You're going to want to make this one. Okay. Whatever it Thanks. is. All right. Go. Bye. <coughs> oh, I'm not Thank you for that. Babe, come here. Can you help me outro? Can you shut the door? I get embarrassed when you can hear me. This is definitely a good, like, after dinner dessert type drink. Shut up! I'm not stuttering, I'm just making sure I'm saying My it right. My baby's drunk! I'm not drunk! My baby's drunk! I'm just making sure I'm saying things right. My baby's tipsy! I think a little pee doodle down my leg. <laughs> My baby pissed himself! I have two more drinks to make. No, really? I do, I do so that means I'm getting drunk. Oh, 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 oh. Next up, mold wine. Mold wine? Mold wine. What? Mold wine. Mjold. Mold. Mjold wine. Mjold wine. I'm going to make a mjold wine. I'm going to make a mjold wine. I'm going to be a master of the skies. My baby's just using this whole thing. You ain't gonna clean a single damn thing off that thing, do you? I know it. I can't even say that straight. Hello. I'm telling people hello. Hello. Don't be annoying. That's why I practice my lines. <laughs> No, 15 minutes to three hours. You're, shut up. Six to nine months? No, six to nine months. Oh shit, it's bubbling. Hope I didn't cook all the wine out of it. My boobie's a chef. What? to be the rim. Oh, it's not funny. <laughs>